Putin set the previous record for secret decrees in 2001. Then, at the height of the Second Chechen War, this figure was 47 percent. Media Zona calculated. As the publication explains, all presidential decrees are numbered in order from the beginning of the year. If a number does not appear in published documents, this means that it was assigned to a secret degree. The counter is reset annually. Thus, by counting the missing numbers, you can understand how many decrees were classified. The total number of decrees signed by Putin in the second year of the invasion didn't change. The last published number of decree in 2022 was 996, in 2023, 997, from an article by Mediazona. Secret decrees can be devoted to various issues, for example, about rewarding the military. Also, in 2023, Putin began assigning more honorary names to military ships. In the published presidential decrees in 2023, there were also significantly more documents on assigning the honorary named guards to military units, ships. What becomes the reason for appropriation is unknown, since the documents contain the standard wording for mass heroism and courage, fortitude and courage, from an article by Mediazona. Also among the secret decrees are pardons for convicts recruited for war from colonies and prisons. According to the founder of the Gulagunyet project, Vladimir Osechkin, who received them from a source in the Federal Penitentiary Service of Russia, more than 100,000 prisoners were sent to war in Ukraine from February 2022 to December 2023. One of the conditions for sending to the front is a presidential pardon after six months of service. As the agency found out, Putin pardoned at least 17 people convicted of high-profile murders for participating in the war against Ukraine. Some, after returning, committed a crime again, which of course is hidden from the public. The skill of the prisoner recruitment underscores the severe staffing shortage the Kremlin faces, experts say. They say it also shows that Putin prefers to use disposable people rather than mobilize the young civilian population, which could lead to political consequences. Among the recruited prisoners are murderers and even a Satanist convicted of the ritual murder of four teenagers. From a Newsweek article. On the eve of the so-called presidential elections, Putin is very cautious. Experts say he is in no hurry to announce a new wave of mobilization, fearing unrest in society. The Kremlin will have to carry out large-scale fraud in order to gain at least 51 percent of Putin's support in the presidential pseudo-elections in 2024. The Putin regime rules the country through fear, and all these wild terms are some constant spies, some constant traitors who appear out of nowhere. They all intensify these fears, but no dictatorship lasted forever. It is very important that even those people who were and are afraid understand that Putin is a person who is destroying their lives. Against the backdrop of mass repressions and internet censorship in Russia, protests by relatives of those mobilized who are dissatisfied with the fact that their husbands and sons are now at the front fighting against Ukraine have become more frequent. This could seriously undermine Putin's rating, analysts are sure. Reported by Viktoria Smirnova, Pavlo Stenmach, UATV News.